What's up everyone and welcome back to to PC Architect again. So So in, in today's video I will be starting a, a store only PC. Yes, you heard me right. I'm starting a store only a store only a store only Intel Intel PC. That most likely has lower and lower end stuff. But, but we'll go to the store anyways. What I mean by store only is that we can't go online. Unless it's to shop for motherboards. Unless it's to shop for motherboards and stuff. Okay, here's what we got. I'll be using LGA 775 as a starting point. And there's only core 2 quads, so... We will be going with this, with with this one because it's cheaper. Uh, the Nvidia GT two forty, GT two forty. Although, although we could upgrade at a future point, point. Six hundred watt will be more than enough. Will be more than enough. And we also have to go online to find the RAM, too. Yeah. So, we need... We need at least 3 gigabytes of DDR2. Of DDR2, and... And, and a motherboard. That is 775. So... Okay, here's one. I think we'll be overclocking, so Asus X48. We have the GPU. Wait, what is what is our GPU? What is our GPU? GT240. How much DRAM does it have? How much DRAM does it have? The GT two forty. Okay, it's five twelve. Oh, so actually two gigabytes will suffice. Except however, it will not be enough. It will not be enough for the for the core two quad that we have. So we need at least four gigabytes RAM. And that does it. Four gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Which is two Two gigabyte six. Let's skip. Uh, and we're going to be using the cheap next Elite one. Six hundred watts. Uh, core two quad. And this one is the Q twenty five oh five. Actually. Thermal paste, Intel uh, RAM. It, again, we can always we can always upgrade this at we can always upgrade this in the future, whether or not it be for an email or 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 just a boost in benchmarks. If the GT two forty just if the GT two forty just just doesn't want to win. At the benchmarks, be using a few sixty-four. Ah. We'll be using a few one hundred twenty-three, one hundred twenty gigabyte SSDs, free to make a total of three sixty. And let's check out. Oh yeah, the GPU. I completely forgot about that. It is the GT two forty. And we're also going to need a GPU cooler if we need to overclock. Here it is, thirty-six. And unfortunately we can't do SO this motherboard. SOI. Uh, cost nine seventy-nine dollars. So so it will 
Seven fifty, seven hundred fifty dollar budget limits, but not like I'm going to go to Hedgehog, the, to the Hedgehog benchmark, benchmark those GPU. It is at seven thirty, and we have to be one, one. If we, if we don't win three of these in a row, he will upgrade the GPU. But for now, we're just gonna overclock. We're just gonna overclock for now. And unlike that AMD system, we can try, we can try up to three times. If we fail. Six, six if we don't. So let's try 2.9. 2.9 first. That, uh, that, that's also, that, that also works. 2.9 gigahertz. We're going to do 2.967 megahertz next. I don't know if that also seems to work. And in fact, for the first time, I think we can actually push this to push the CPU to 3 gigahertz. Also, speaking of 3 gigahertz, we should we should also try to get a Pentium 4 that's, o that's over 3 gigahertz at stock. Yeah, a Pentium 4 that's over 3 gigahertz at stock. So, okay. Gonna try 30, 33. No, not 33, 30, 30. And that also works despite the CPU getting extremely hot. Okay, we got, we got our CPU pushed. It is time to boost our GPU. Let's try 592. They only try three times. So we only trying to overclock this once. Just just this very once. We did push GP our CPU a uh, boosting two path to boosting two gigahertz. And same with price with RAM. You can only overclock price. Gonna try seven hundred megahertz. Gonna try seven hundred megahertz first. Check my battery. Forty-seven percent. And seven hundred megahertz. For this one as well. Yeah, we we boosted performance. We boosted some some of our performance out. And what's weird about today is that today is actually Valentine's Day 2010. Valentine's Day 2010. Much much. There we go to. Let's, no, let's not go to the potato the potato benchmark because ah uh, too high. So. So that way we still have no limits benchmark. It's and according to the game, it's actually quite an easy benchmark. It's actually quite easy. And this is balanced. So I'm just gonna boost the CPU even further for now. Remember, I set it to 3.033. Gigahertz. And now it's at 3.1. And we increase our scores by a whopping 2,000 points. 13,373. That's your score. And we have an email. Even though we've already tried out. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. 
But I am getting quite popular. But I'm still benchmarking my CPU. I'm still benchmarking this. I start with the Bitcoin mine. The Bitcoin mine, uh, So this task more relies on the CPU. And you got three point one two. Isn't as bad, but 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 now we have to upgrade our our GPU. Let's see if we can find any better. Uh, no, no, we can't find any better. But but I think we can go go online and find the GTX and find it. And find some GTX cards to agree to. Remember, we've got four gigabytes of RAM. Hmm, what? What GPU should I use? Hmm, what should I choose? Hmm, GTX 295. Uh, GTX. Oh, no. Ha! Ah, I didn't drop it. I feel like a GTX two uh I feel like a GTX two nine nine five is more perfect. More suited to a system like this. Except that means we have to upgrade their G our system to to six to six gigabytes of RAM. We can eat to do with adding another another L C C two gigabyte stick. And our upgrades will come in nine days. Thank you. We're not gonna pay a sponsor a sponsor this month. So let's take our GT two forty and create to a, a GTX two ninety five and put in Put in a RAM, then immediately overclock to 700 megahertz. Then, in, then immediately overclock it to 700 megahertz. Although, although there is still one empty RAM slot, and it could be used to fit in another two gigabyte stick to put in eight gigabytes of RAM. System like this could still play Fortnite in GTA. Could still play Fortnite in GTA. Okay, with reduced settings, but, but, it, but, that all, all we need to do now is to overclock, is to overclock, no, not the GT240 again, let's, let's start with this one, we can try nine times, So let's try 628 megahertz. Let's do some heavy overclocking. Six. Except our, our PSU probably won't be powerful enough to handle the overclock. So we have to... So I have to buy an even more beefier 850 watt. Ha! Huh, the 1200 watt one. 1200 watt one. And we will take it into more benchmarks. Remove this. And replace it with the 1200i. With the 1200 watt. Okay. 
Okay, six. Now let's try six hundred and fifty-seven megahertz. Also seems to work. Now let's try six hundred and seventy five megahertz. And this is switching the temperatures of my CPU. Thank goodness I'm stopping right here. And I'm gonna take it into more benchmarks. The mortar today, but we're not going to that. Here and even in 2010, the GTX 295 could still handle game games, games at higher settings. But now it is essentially just just a game. Eighteen thousand nine hundred thirty-six. It's an improvement. And, and that will be it for this video, and we will see you next time on PC Architect. Oh hey, we leveled up to level 4.